Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the motor capacitor on your top load washer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the washer. So you either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. And once we've done that, our next step will be to remove the front panel. So to remove the front panel, we're gonna take a stiff putty knife We'll come in about four inches from either edge. We're going to do this gap between the front panel and the main top, and we'll make contact with a spring clip. We're simply going to push the putty knife in. At the same time, we'll pull the front panel forward. Do the same on the opposite side. Just tilt that panel down a bit and lift it away from the two support brackets on the bottom. We'll just set that aside. Now with the front panel removed, we've located the capacitor attached to the side of the cabinet. Now you can choose to cut the existing cable straps that attach that to the cabinet. You can cut those off, or you may try to save them. First thing we'll do is to disconnect the wire harness from the capacitor. And if they're on there quite snug, take a pair of needle nose pliers, grasp the connector, and then just pry them off. We'll just cut the electrical tape on the edge here to release that harness. Now, if you attempt to save those straps, you may want to push that capacitor down through it and then try to release the little locking clips and reuse them. We have some extra ones here, so we're just going to cut those off and remove the whole assembly. We'll discard that. So next we'll take our new capacitor and go ahead and connect the wire terminals to it. So tape that harness inside of it. And we'll take our new cable straps. And we'll just feed those through the holes in the side of that cabinet. And then we'll wrap those cable straps around the capacitor. And make sure we get those nice and snug. You can trim off the excess. And now we're ready to put the front panel back on. Now when reinstalling the front panel, we want to make sure that the slotted holes in the bottom of the panel sit down over these two support brackets on the frame. Then we're gonna line up these plastic tabs on the front edge of the cabinet with the round holes on the back side of the front panel. And as well, there's one metal tab that fits into this grounding point as well. So make sure that those all line up. You may need to flex either the cabinet or the front panel. and then snap the front panel against the cabinet. And now we're ready to push the washer back into position. 
We're now ready to push the washer back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.